Love don't judge. Love don't judge. I paid 20k for a wife, but she's not my slave. Yeah, we're gonna watch this. I'm Stephanie. And my name is Evan. These children are four years old. Is this legal? I found Stephanie on a Filipino dating app. I do all the, the cooking. Passport bros, man. Holy shit. Yeah, I flew in my wife from the Philippines so that I can have a trad wife that cooks and cleans for me. Cleaning and washing. The comments that we get online are kind of like this. Did you pay for this one? Bro imported a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I did have concerns. Why did you feel the need to get married so fast? Mom, I love her. Game is game. It smells good. <laughs> of course this happens in Pennsylvania, bro. Pennsylvania can't beat the allegations. Pencil tucky. Shit's crazy. It's a war zone. Why do 20,000 of the dumbest Pennsylvanians decide the fate of America every four years? Make it make sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm Evan and this is my wife, Stephanie. People judge my relationship because I'm from the Philippines and my husband spent $20,000 to bring me here in the United States. So after downloading all of the American dating apps, I actually matched- <laughs> I can't watch this chat. Oh my God, I'm having an aneurysm. With a girl from the Philippines uh, who had changed her location to America. I decided to download a Filipino dating app just to see what's out there. And right away I matched with Stephanie. After three and a half weeks of talking and getting to know the most beautiful and funny girl, I decided to book my flight to go see her. <sighs> Why? Why don't you date people <laughs> in your own country? When he landed in the Philippines, he asked me to be... Like he's not beating the accusations of being a passport bro. No, your girlfriend. And yeah, we became official. Flying to the Philippines is not cheap. I guess it's kind of endearing in that they seem to be similar in age. You know, it's not as creepy as some of the age gap nonsense. It's about $2,000. But let's not, let's not gloss over the fact that he bought this woman. Dollars round trip. I'd say I spend about $5,000 each trip. So about $15,000 for the three trips. I do all those, the cooking, cleaning, and washing, but it's... Honestly, based. <laughs> just normal uh, household chores. Stephanie is a great cook. I am very lucky. Yeah. She cooks everything. When people say, Stephanie's my maid, I don't take it personal because I know that we are both happy and we have a good thing going between the two of us. When I got here, for sure, I was like, oh, the house is pretty big and I'm going to be cleaning the whole house. This just gives me weird vibes, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to place my three eyes on it, but something's off. He's living like a 4chan king. <laughs> house. I've never used this appliances that you have. First time with a dishwasher. Dishwasher, the dryer, Washer and dryer. the vacuum. In the Philippines, we make fire manually, and then we wash by hand. We have to fetch water, and we have to pump the water and put it in our bathroom. Hello, <laughs> meet my mom. <laughs> What's sad is so many men would sign up for this. <laughs> this man is killing it. Yeah, I'm coming. Today, we are meeting up with my mom, Susan, to hear a little bit more about her thoughts on our relationship. I know she tried to portray that she was super supportive and being there for us but i do believe I'm not going to lie my dad did this shit and he was in the military <laughs> listen it, it's it's a path that a lot of men go down you know i don't know i i, I can't tell if game is game or this is <laughs> soul crushing behavior at least she had some apprehension some concerns when evan met stephanie it's quite a distance away to have a long distance relationship with someone so i wasn't quite sure how that was all gonna work itself out the whole visa process i knew that coming here it would really be a fresh start for her and i was concerned about well what's the next step once she gets here when i first told you about stephanie did you have any concerns I did have concerns. Western women are basic compared to foreign. 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Especially the first visit. You were going very far away, uh, and you were the far- The West has fallen? <laughs> uh, it's a funny meme, but I, I don't know how accurate that is. Foreigner, and you look like a foreigner. <laughs> and you're going to a country to meet a woman that you don't know that well in my eyes so yeah i didn't know what you were going to get yourself it's inherently transactional she wants a green card he wants his house cleaned and meals cooked until why did you feel the need to get married so fast things did move quick right uh and that's part of the that's how the ogs did it marry meet a girl marry her figure out the rest after you have five kids <laughs> yeah that's high t behavior <laughs> process all these photos here yeah he could have saved like nineteen thousand dollars by just buying a Roomba are photos of us in America some of these big photos here are of our elopement our like secret little wedding we had during our first visit we talked about filing the fiance hello fellow neats <laughs> the visa and moving to the US so part of the process we have 90 days to get married from her arrival into the US we did. Is that why 90 day fiance is a thing? There's literally a 90 day window to secure your trad wife from another country. Imagine not having a barefooter minx in 2024. <laughs> you gotta go quick and hard, boys. Did a secret elopement, the two of us. That was June. And then just this past Sunday, we had a wedding with my family. This is my elopement dress. It's so cute seeing. <laughs> Erm, that's not very trad. <laughs> Mom and I went to the local bridal shop and then we picked this. And this one is pretty classy. I thought you looked beautiful. We're looking to get a third pretty- As a man, how are you going to go on file, on the record, and turned into YouTube slop con content with the title, I paid $20,000 for a wife? Huh? It's so over. On principle, that would never be me. Why are you paying for a wife? Pretty soon, when we set up our big, more traditional wedding in the Philippines. My reservations went away very quickly. Something that I have to tell you that I haven't told you before. When you got off the plane and you were waiting for him and you saw him, you were just so excited. I was in Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> just not for any um reasons regarding intimacy years and it was just so genuine and Aww. and that really kind of locked it in knowing how much you cared that was like the most amazing feeling do we have any uh filipinos in chat uh, i don't know what the vibes are over there I do know that there is a stereotype for passport bros going to the philippines and you know marrying trad wives and shit what what is what is the problem in the philippines are, are, they, are they down bad the green card thing is a myth i'm not married he's mogging me technically yeah i worked with a buy a bride guy my first week he showed me pictures of her on his phone he also swiped too many times and showed me full spread and said oops that one is for free <laughs> that is such a believable story that is exactly the energy that i that, that i'm picturing in my head no, oh, sorry. As they cross their arms and smirk, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that one's for free. <laughs> yeah. I, I I get pussy. The Philippines is like an island we send trash and Coca-Cola to. It's not great. W what is the deal with the male-female dynamics? Are mail-order brides this common? Like being welcomed off the plane to, to you with all this energy. I know you're both on social media. I am a little curious, like, what do other people say? New York has dog-sized rats. Take your pit, pick, man. Listen, I am a New York elitist. I will ride or die for New York, okay? You don't want the smoke. I will take those elephant-sized rats any day. They keep me humble. Master Splinter type beat, you know what I'm saying? New York City is the city of dreams. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm ranting about half the time. <laughs> we'll be filming our TikTok. <laughs> what do you got in mind? Stephanie's the mastermind behind all of our content. 
the comments that we get online are kind of like you could not find someone in US she gonna milk your money dry boy <laughs> yeah. did you pay for this one bro imported a slave <laughs> <laughs> that gets me every time you found a housekeeper and maid. Imagine one thing to become a slave. This is the result of colonization. Gold digger. <laughs> you probably get me to say I'm punching up, so she's too beautiful for me. Chat, they're happy. They're happy, chat. Let let them be happy. Who are we to criticize? But then also sometimes, sometimes. we'll get other comments from maybe Filipinos that yeah. will say, why do all the foreigners like the exotic girl? In the Philippines, um, I did not reach the standard beauty that, you know, everyone wants. I guess in the Philippines, you know. What is the beauty standard in the Philippines? Lighter skin is preferred. So sometimes she'll get comments about her darker skin as though it's a bad thing and, and her flat nose, nose <laughs> which I think is so cute. But you should have chosen a pretty bro <laughs> if you're gonna do something like this like say they're they're truly in love right say they're star-crossed lovers from from different countries and they were meant to be together and they will find each other in every single lifetime Ro real romantic type shit right you gotta keep it off the internet if you want to keep your sanity you're you're this is 2024 you're gonna get fucking roasted dear one dude sometimes it makes me sad of course but it's social media. It's like open for people to judge us. We brush off most of the hate comments and try not to reply to too many, but uh, any type of interaction helps us go viral, so we don't we don't mind it. Two, one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. What really creeps me out is people that make content off this shit, like their relationship becomes a spectacle. That's how I know it's not meant to last, you know? They always do these quirky TikToks and Instagram reels like, oh, this is my husband. <laughs> they do like the fucking dances and shit. Like they, they, they produce content in order to get roasted. And they're like, oh yeah, we, we don't care about the criticism. Like you, you're trying to get flamed. Seven, eight. 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 Sometimes we play into a bit of our hate comments. If she's only with me for money or She's gonna take all my money and then leave me. Sometimes we, we play into it a little bit and get interaction that way. There's a misconception that everyone from all over the world wants to come to America. And in reality, that's not always the case. <laughs> uh, so move to the Philippines, bro. Be the exception to the rule. I always wanted to work abroad, but never United States. It's never on my list. I told Evan before, like, if only he can just move to the Philippines with me, I would love that. But he's too young to move. <laughs> I can't retire yet. How old is he, bro? It said she was 22 earlier on in the video. Is he younger than her? Is he, like, 18? <laughs> of course I miss the Philippines. I always miss the Philippines. I had a couple uh, friends and family members tell me, like, Oh, you know, you're a good catch in America. Why are you going to the Philippines? Friends question if she was in this relationship for love or if it's just for a green card. She had a few friends that were a little skeptical yeah. if, if I was real. She had some family members that thought maybe I was too young, even though, you know, I'm four and a half years older. Oh, okay, so he's like 26 and a half, 27. I just wanted to tell you, Evan, how, um, you know, happy I am with your choice. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephanie, I think you're really good for Evan. Let's play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie has made me a much better person in a lot of ways. She's gotten me out of my oh, shell. Usually I'm introverted and she's the extrovert, but she's uh, helped me, you know, be more social and enjoy life. Evan changed my life in a lot of ways also. I mean, aside from him bringing me here. That Filion is an incel hater. <laughs> Chat, you guys know that I get incel comments? I get incel co comments despite being in a relationship for like four years. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> 
I don't know, I just have standards. Apparently that's, apparently that's incel-like. That really changed my whole life. I feel more- You know what's funny though, I'll lean into it. I will unironically lean into the incel label. You don't want the smoke. Confident with myself, because even if I look so bad waking up, you're just, oh, you're so beautiful. For people that judge us, we just say stay tuned. All right, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat, hating. Love don't judge, but I do. I need to buy a plane ticket to the Philippines now.